All right. And so uh, we are going to get straight into today's topic. And that is this. Walk properly. Walk properly. Romans 13, 13 states the following. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in rivalry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy. And what is that basically saying? It says this. Do not copy those around you. All right? Do not copy the world. Remember this. The world only has themselves to try and sort out. But the Bible is very clear that we live for each other. We are there for each other. And so saints, I want to challenge you. Do not walk according to the world. Walk properly before God. And as we do that, we will see the power and the glory of God move. It's time that we as believers stand up and do what is right. Because it is important that we continually do the biblical thing in Jesus' name. Amen? And so, if you've got strife and envy, if you have any problems with drunkenness, any of these things that the Bible says with lust, you need to deal with these things in your life. They are not acceptable. Listen carefully. Before God, they are not acceptable. God is calling us to walk properly. And so as we do that, not only will we create a testimony, but we this is the big one. We will stop the devil from having a foothold in our lives. This is important. Do not give the devil a foothold in your life. Allow the Spirit of God to lead you, guide you, and direct you. Because we want to see the power, the glory, the majesty of God in our lives. So saints, this morning, as we come around the table, let us ask God to help us if there are any areas that we need to work on. Ask God to show us. On the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take it in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take it in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. And so saints, I want to challenge us. Let's allow the Spirit of God to work in our lives. Let's ask God to show us the areas that we need to change. Because we trust the Lord. We believe God for the supernatural. And we are believing God that God is going to do something miraculous in and through us. Let's pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you. That you'll forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action or motive. But Lord, I pray right now that you're going to help us. Lord, if there are areas of our lives where we are not walking properly, Holy Spirit, that you will come and show us, come and minister to us, and come and bring us to the place that we should be in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that as we take on the elements this morning, Lord, that we will see the power of God work and move in our lives. And Lord, I thank you that you make yourself real to us. Lord, we pray for the supernatural move of your Spirit. The blessing and the anointing to saturate us. In Jesus mighty name. And everybody said. Amen and amen. Let's partake together. Lord right now in Jesus name we come before you. And Lord I release the dunamis power of God over our physical bodies. Lord I thank you. That we are healed in Jesus' name. I command every form of sickness to go in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that divine health is ours. And Lord, we thank you that the power of God saturates our bodies this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen.
Well, saints, firstly, I want to just say thank you for standing together and believing God for our nation. All right. I don't have the final results in yet. But I trust that your vote has made a difference in Jesus' name. And so let's believe God for the supernatural. Let's believe God that God is going to do something miraculous in this nation. We are trusting God that God is going to shift and change things so that we can see a major shift in our nation. And so I want to just say that it's Saturday and I am going to pray right now for our families. But also I'm going to ask you that we've got a guest speaker tonight at 7 o'clock, so please get ready for that. But I'm going to ask you, as I pray for your family, stand in agreement, take the blessings, call on God, and let's see miracles take place in our families. Let's pray. Father, we come before you. And Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus that our families are blessed. Lord, I thank you that our families are prosperous. And Lord, I pray for each and every one in our family that they will serve you with their whole heart. Lord, we call them in in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the plan and the purpose in their lives. Thank you, Lord, that they will do what you've called them to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you that they will be obedient to your spirit. Lord, that they will do and, and just be sensitive to when you speak. Father, I pray right now that everyone will fulfill their calling on their lives, that their destiny and purpose will be fulfilled. Father, I thank you right now that you are going to move by your spirit in our lives. Lord, that we will not be the same again. That our family as a unit will fulfill its destiny and purpose in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, right now I pray for the war over Israel. Lord, I thank you that the IDF will finalize and end this war quickly in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now for the families that have been affected on both sides. And Lord, I thank you that they will be um, protected and looked after, but Lord, that they'll be able to go back to their homes quickly in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray your blessing over our nation today. Lord, I thank you for the peace that has been reigned, that reigned over election day. But Father, I pray your peace over our nation. And I pray your blessing over each and every one. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks. I just wanted to say thank you so much for standing together and being in line with what God has. Amen. As believers, God wants to use us. God wants to bring us to that place of absolute surrender to Him. And so this morning, I want you to go, as you go your daily walk, whatever you do today, just remember this. God loves me and God's got a plan for me. And wherever you go, just release the peace of God. The peace and the blessing of the Lord over our nation. Amen. All right, let's get to our declaration this morning. And I want you to just take each statement and call it in as a faith statement in your life. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints. I want to encourage you. Go and use the giftings that God has. Over your life. And call this declaration into your life. Every single day. And declare. 
the blessing and the favor and the absolute restoration of all things in your life. In Jesus' name.